So in my music collection, I literally have hundreds, hundreds of albums that I've purchased legitimately through the years. And uh, sometimes I don't even remember what I have. So I concocted a little game here that will uh, allow you to rediscover music that you have in your music collection, in your music library, and will make a little game out of it. And so you got to kind of watch closely here uh, at the game itself. All right, so these are songs or album covers representing songs on my hard drive. Okay, and I successfully guessed that song, and I got it right, and I scored 70 points as a result of that. Here we go, the next one. Okay, I missed that one, and I lost 80 points, so I'm at a negative 10 uh, after two rounds, as you can see. All right, and so as you might guess, this is not my music collection. Uh, I'll explain that in the next video, but these are purely uh, songs that somebody created for me. Uh, but you can also see here that there's a little blue area down here. This actually represents an advertisement from a Microsoft uh, advertisement network. Okay, so you can see that after five rounds, I got a massive negative score of 260. I could choose to play again, um, but that's really not the most significant thing about this application. What it will do is it'll allow you to go through special folders on the user's, uh, on the user's device or desktop, specifically the music library. And it'll go through every single folder in the music library and find a list of all MP3 files. It'll then grab the metadata from the MP3 file itself. So information like the, uh, the album name, the artist name, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the album art. So you can see we've got the cover art for the album itself. And then it's going to choose to randomly play songs. And as the user, I then have to guess. And it's going to evaluate my guess, whether right or wrong, and it will change the um, the tile uh, as a result of that and it'll keep score and there's a lot of logic around what songs to play what to stay away from because you've already guessed that album art for uh, it's already been used once you can't use it because it's already got an X on it sort of thing okay um, like I said it we demonstrate how to use uh, and monetize this application through Microsoft advertising uh, we'll demonstrate that and then we'll also demonstrate how to remove ads so to add a premium feature to the app uh, and allow you to monetize it by uh, by allowing the user to click a button and it'll pop up the are you sure you want to purchase this for a dollar now this is a little simulator and we'll we'll talk about this near the end of of our time together building this but I'm gonna go ahead and say yes the user successfully purchased uh, the removal of ads in the app. And so we're going to demonstrate how to add in-app purchases in your application. So there's a lot to learn in this app. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of logic, a lot of typing. <laughs> so you'll need to follow on closely or you probably, honestly, you probably just want to look at the source code after I finish the video, but just follow along with the thought process as I work my way through this example. All right, ready? Let's get started in the next video. Thanks.